CNBC visited ASN's cable manufacturing facility in northern France, as well as the company's repeater factory in Greenwich, England, to see what it takes to build a subsea cable. Step one is sourcing the optical fiber. We have two different suppliers. One is American and the other one is uh, Japanese. Next, the optical fiber gets encased in a metal tube to protect the delicate glass strands before the tube is further strengthened. We add this extra wire to build a vault, which will resist to the water pressure. And uh, after that, we put the copper. The copper acts as a conductor to power the cable. The copper layer is then encased in plastic, which constitutes what is known in the industry as a lightweight cable. Depending on where the cable will be installed, manufacturers can add extra layers of protection. In that case, we put another layer of steel wires around the polyethylene, and one layer, which we call single armor, and sometimes double layer, which we call double armor, to provide even more resistance against either some mild aggression or chafing on the sea bottom, etc. This is double armored, so this you would probably put near the beach or the surface where there's more danger of it being damaged in some way. Uh, this is probably not what you would find in really, really deep waters as probably won't need that much armoring, but this is really heavy. <laughs>